After you've checked and corrected all of your audio tags, you're ready to import the library data into Music One. Click to the Tracks button, and then open the Import menu. There are three ways to do this. You can import from a properly prepared comma-separated file. You can import from a track list. That would be a tab-delimited or fixed-width text file. There are other videos about those ways to do it. And if your library files are all MP3s and if you have Music One installed on the same machine with your playout system, then you can import the data from the MP3 tags directly. That's what we're going to do here. We select Import from Sound File Tags. Browse to a folder that contains some of your audio files. Double click and open one of those folders. Music One will take a moment to scan the MP3s and then display the data. Now here you can see some of my songs are not properly tagged. You can't correct tags with Music One. Use a dedicated tag editing software like Media Monkey to do that job and do it before you import a record. You can select a lot of songs in a group by first clicking on one title and then holding down the shift key on the keyboard and clicking on another song title. You can select individual tracks to import by holding down the control key on the keyboard and then clicking on the songs that you want. When you have your song selected, before you click the import button, be sure you have the overwrite selection set. If Music One and your automation or playout system and all of the audio files that you use in your stream are on the same computer, then you will want to overwrite both cart and file. If your webcasting system and the audio files that you use for your station are on a separate machine, and if you also have copies of those same songs and other audio files on this machine with Music One, then you will want to overwrite the file only. Read the documentation and see the videos about song cards so you'll know clearly the difference between the file data and the cart data. The cart field is the most important field. That's what goes into the playlist file that Music One creates for your automation system. The file field is for Music One's own internal auditioning player. This is used when you want to click and hear a song as you're working with Music One. Now, here's how to do it. I have my song selected. I click the Import button. Music One will import the songs and then show me the total number imported. Close this window. The songs imported go into Music One's New Songs category. Now I create a Music One category. Then I move my songs into that category. And now I'm ready to go back to import more song data. Again, select some songs, import the songs, then move the songs into one of the categories that you create with Music One. 